Hey, roadies. This is your host, the Gauche with the Most. I don't know about you all, but I absolutely loved Portal when it first came out. It was a small little blip of a game that came as a bonus to the orange box. And yet, it felt like it dominated that box. When Portal 2 came out, I was just as overjoyed and had the nostalgia of solving puzzles all over again. Now, we have a wonderful opportunity to dive into that world once more with Portal Revolution, a fan-made mod that takes place before the events of Portal 2. Kind of a Portal 1.5. And, and if it's anything like the Lion King 1.5, we should be in for a pretty good time. So, strap on your longfall gear, don't stare into the end of the device, and prepare to test in Portal Revolution. All right, let's get portaling. Good morning. I didn't like the upstairs neighbors anyway. I feel like I'm one of those cars getting lifted into the compactor. This is a pretty reasonable hotelish room. Good morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. Well, it's not that long. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. Oh, I you wish I could sleep for 36 as years. You candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. I've been, uh. I've been recorded for HURT. That's your acronym? HURT? Oh. Hey. Pretty good for sleeping 36 years, actually. To be accepted into the human emergency response team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem-solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Hmm. Sounds easy Please enough. press the button to accept the terms. Uh-oh. I never read those things anyway. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. Should I get some spare undies? Do I have the leg things? I do have the leg things. Ah, gotta love the long jump boots. Alright. There's a little bit of a slide to your movement. Not much. A little. That's not my ID. I have blood type. I'm O negative. Nice. Okay, I don't like pollen either. Good to know. Avoiding flowers. So this is a prequel to Portal 2, is I think is what I'm understanding. Oh man, I missed the uh, classic Portal elevators. Something nostalgic about this room. Test subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. Is that why I can't speak? You 
will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. Oh no. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. This is a trick question. What if I don't? All right, fine. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. Okay. Like calling in a work sick and they're like, are you sure? Are you sure you're not okay? And you're running a hundred degree fever and you're like, oh, well, I could probably make it. And they're like, all right, that's all we needed to know. This is what brain damage does to a person. I could mess with all kinds of stuff if I really wanted to. Classic putting blocks on button puzzles. Please be advised that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but it's an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. I don't need those anyway. Just wash it all out. Just rinse the eyes. That's why we have an eye wash station right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you slowly rotate over here to me. One more. You can do it. Yeah, here it comes. All right. Now we have to wait. One more. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Feels good. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations, and as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. Do not look into the device. Maybe we'll double back for secrets later. Excellent. Your performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Nice. Oh, I'm dumb. That didn't work like I thought it was going to. Well, we 
can get another one unless you burn this one. I don't see anything interesting. A very specific empty room. Specifically empty. Well, it's not connecting to the orange portal anymore, so... Here's the orange portal. Oh no, some of these seem like tests we've done before. First of all. Gotcha. Different. I was just thinking the puzzles kind of looked similar. Now I should be able to take you and jump through here and open the door. And stop! Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, what do we have here? That is a laser. It's a laser, is what you have. Tests may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. Oh, that's good. Probably gonna need that eye wash station again at some point, though. What the? Why is the field looking kinda concern? Or science? Science is sometimes dangerous. out did that all with my eyes closed I swear my little brother was here and he saw it yeah he did it with his eyes closed oh that's a little brother sound like before starting with the next test chamber we would like to remind you that so far no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. I'm not smart enough to follow that.
You probably didn't feel it, right? Looked pretty much painless. It was just a kind of a, you know, I don't feel so good, Mr. Gosh, kind of moment. So I think cubes get deleted when they hit lasers. Pretty sure. What does this do? Turns off the field. Oh. How do I break you? Actually, I know how to break you. Should be able to. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. I thought you could uh, change the direction of this, but maybe I am wrong on that. You live today, camera. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. I don't know, one of those was already dangerous. I'm pretty sure I died in an alternate reality. Give me that cube. Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that techno music. On behalf of the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. You can't tell me how to live my life. Sometimes I just like looking at the scenery. I want to point out that was not like some supreme genius of me. That was me noticing at the last second that I should probably move that. Just change my portal type? You definitely did. So where's that going now? Aha, I see it. <laughs> Nailed it. Just solving puzzles like a puzzle master.
Boom. Shakalaka. Not bad. Um. Robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. Volunteer for a testing today. Nice. You know, was it ever fully explained why this place was empty? Did Gladys kill everyone? Was that what was that the story in the first one? Gladys just like murked everybody? Or is it insinuated? I don't know. It's been a while for me. Maybe I need to do a revisit later. Maybe we'll do a revisit. Portal 1 and 2. Everybody likes this enough. As we'll uh, we'll do that. Semi recent events. Some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Uh. Okay. This drops a cube from over there. Okay, well that didn't help. So I guess I'm gonna have to go over there. Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. I I broke something. Try that. Hey, that's the one. That big plate is now properly calibrated. Okay, what if but what if this one isn't? You know what? Science. Concern. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling. Okay, what do I, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna need, uh, guidance on this one, buddy. Let's see, um... I can, uh... uh I can get really sick. This is blue, which means it wouldn't matter until I have orange. Can I loop out of here with orange? No, I don't see any exits that way. Okay. I could hit that. Where does that shoot me? Science. You planned for that, didn't you? Curse you planning for that. <laughs> we'll put that in there, and we just want to boop. Nailed it. Now let me in the wall. Are oh, you not gonna let me in the wall? All right, second time. Nailed it. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's good. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. There's uh, another one. Okay, I got it. I got it now. I figured it out. It's the ball.
Nope, nope, come here. You little scamp. Well done. From now on, all aerial faceplates should be configured correctly. I promise. Ah, so he's getting a little too personal. Getting a little too personal. We haven't even met yet. Gladys didn't get personal until we met. Well, we didn't meet, but she tried to throw me in a furnace. That did happen. Well done, candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. Sounds great. I'm ready to bring the hurt. There's supposed to be nine. Did you say two or one? I wasn't listening that closely. Uh, that drops a cube. Or a fraction cube. Which make an elevator go up. Okay. What's this do? Oh, you have to have both. This one might take me a second. Oh, I get it now. That took me longer than it probably should have. That's the kicker right there. Whoops, buggered it. Now. Uh, oop. Oop. Well, I still have the laser. So that solves one part of it. It took me longer than it should have. I gotta admit. Not the brightest crayon in the box. I'm not ashamed to admit that. As a reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science hard light bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. That's what I like to hear.
cool. That's cool. It just takes me a moment sometimes. I gotta admit, puzzles are clever. I did that instantaneously. I want you to know there was no time cut from that at all. Zero. Promise. Swear. Okay. Congratulations! You did it! I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. I'll be honest nice. with you now. There is no after science human emergency response team. I made it up. There's no ass hurt? Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. But hey, crazy thought. What if I didn't do that? Okay. Never mind. I guess I have to. Dark in here, isn't it? The checkpoint is ripe. Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter. There it is. Controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? I'm gonna guess it's the shiny red button. Oh, okay. Well, I have to get to that. Okay, so you have to stand in the scanner to get registered. Any plan how? Sorry, I got distracted by that sign on the wall. Also, I wonder what happens if I loiter for 20 minutes. Maybe that portal can help again. I mean, it can. That's obviously what we're doing here. Alright, scan me. Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Nice to meet you, Sterling. I look forward to working here. Thank you for the opportunity. 